Welcome to Storytime Pals. Subscribe to keep the stories coming. Hi there, boys and girls. It's your pal Vernon. The next story I'll be reading to you is a beginning reader story called Danny and the Dinosaur in the Sand Castle Contest. So I'll read slowly so you can follow along with me, okay? All right, here we go. <clears throat> We're going to the beach tomorrow. Danny told his friend, the dinosaur. Would you like to come along? Hmm, maybe. I'd love to, said the dinosaur. What's a beach? Hmm, Danny smiled. It's lots of fun. <laughs> the next day, Danny's parents packed the car with towels and treats. Danny and his friend, Betty, climbed in. They all drove to the beach while the dinosaur followed behind. It was a beautiful day at the beach. Everyone was playing, swimming, and sunbathing. The dinosaur loved it. He splashed in the waves and rolled on the sand. The beach is the best, he said. Hey, look, said Betty. It's the sand castle contest. I know, said Danny. I've entered, but I've never won. I've been thinking about this since last summer. Maybe this is your lucky year, said the dinosaur. I'll help you. How can we lose, said Danny. <laughs> Danny and Betty started to dig. The dinosaur dug too. Whoa! But he was a little too helpful. <laughs> We need water to wet the sand, said Danny. No problem, said the dinosaur. At last, the castle was almost done. This is my best ever, said Danny. Let's pack down the sand. <laughs> Let me do it, said the dinosaur. <laughs> The dinosaur packed a bit too hard. Uh-oh. Oops, he said. I'm so sorry. My castle, cried Danny. Oh, poor Danny. The judging starts in ten minutes, said the announcer. Oh, no, cried Danny and Betty. What do we do now? Danny looked at the dinosaur. He looked at the ocean. I've got it, he said. But we'll need some help. Hmm. What can I do? The dinosaur asked. Just lie down, said Danny. With the help of some new friends, Danny and Betty piled sand all over the dinosaur. <laughs> they added waves and fins. <laughs> That's a good idea. They made a sand sea monster. Whoa! We will win for sure, said Betty. Everyone agreed it was the best. Thanks, guys, said Danny. But then, Danny noticed something. Hmm. The tide was coming in. Oh no. Everyone's castles were in danger. Oh. Can you hold back the tide? Danny asked the dinosaur. I can, said his friend. <laughs> but what about your sea monster? said Betty. Saving our friends Sand castles is more important, said Danny. Well, well, that's very nice of Danny. 
The dinosaur shook off the sand. He blocked the waves while the judges finished the judging. <laughs> Good job, dinosaur. Hooray for Danny and the dinosaur, everyone cheered. You didn't win, said Betty. But I made new friends, said Danny. And I'll try again next year. Hmm. Good job, Danny. The dinosaur took all the new friends swimming. Everyone played in the waves. At the end of the day, everyone celebrated with popsicles. Mmm, yummy. And the dinosaur had the biggest one of all. Wow. The end. Well, thanks again for joining me, boys and girls. I'll see you next time. Bye! Thanks for watching Storytime Pals. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.